I don't know that I'm going to be able to put this video out on the YouTube because YouTube don't like me to talk about these kind of things. But the FDA just approved the vaccine for monkeypox and it warns it may cause death in vaccinated and people they come in contact with. Hold on. So you're trying to tell me they're telling you the truth up front? Wow. ACAM 2000, a vaccine approved last month by the FDA for monkeypox comes with a list of serious complications, including myocarditis, death, and fetal death. Hmm. Sounds very familiar. The FDA's medication guide also warns that people who receive the vaccine may spread it to unvaccinated people who also risk developing vaccine side effects, including death. Wait, 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 wait. So help me understand this. If they know this is the side effect, why would you approve this? Let me read it to you again. The FDA's medical guide also warns that people who receive the vaccine may spread it to unvaccinated people who also risk developing vaccine side effects, including death. A vaccine approved in August by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for people deemed to be at high risk of monkeypox inve infection may cause more harm than good, according to the FDA's own medical guides. ACAM 2000, made by Emergent Biosolutions, a company specializes in vaccines for biomedical warfare threats such as anthrax and smallpox, was approved for smallpox in 2007. However, on August 29th, the FDA issued an expanded supplement approval for ACAM 2000's use against monkeypox. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What should I avoid after getting vaccinated with ACAM? For six weeks after vaccination until the vaccine has... Can I click this? Can I see the whole thing? Let's see. Is it showing you the whole thing? Yes, it's going to show you the whole thing. For six weeks after the vaccination until the vaccine vaccination site is healed, avoid getting pregnant or getting your partner pregnant. Spreading the vaccine virus to unvaccinated individuals, especially infants, including while breastfeeding, pregnant individuals, and individuals with weakened immune systems. The virus can spread by physical contact, including sexual contact, and by sharing a bed, cloud, clothes, towels, linens, or toiletries with unvaccinated people, donating blood or organs, rubbing, scratching, or touching the vaccination site. Remember, there was, when the first vaccine came out, there was like, well, they're shedding. And everybody was like, there's no such thing as shedding. This damn show sound like shedding to me. And here's what I don't get. This is why I hope when Trump gets in office, they just abolish the FDA altogether. Because your job is to make sure this kind of stuff don't happen to people. But you ain't doing your damn job. You approve something that you know will shed. Not only will it kill people, but it will shed and kill others. Now, back in the day, we were saying, hey, man, you need to keep your vitamin D levels high. You need to take um, ivermectin and all these different medicines to prevent this. And that was what we were saying. That's what people were saying. Oh, no, they want to ban ivermectin. Vitamin D, vitamin C, they were trying to ban that. If you don't understand right now that these people are trying to whack you, then bro, I don't, fuck, I don't know what to say to you. These people are trying to kill you in all in multiple ways, man. They just trying to whack everybody. It's dumb, but that's what they're trying to do. They want to depopulate, and they're working hard at depopulating. 